Okay, so hello and welcome to Spin Ties. This is the uh, first of a look at the game on the channel, and I'm currently using the Plains map, which is uh, comes standard with Spin Ties. I have got about four hours in the game, only two achievements, just practicing. So um, I got the gist of the game before I made a video, so I didn't want to make a mess of it, if you see what I mean. But um, basically, it's an off-road simulator with amazing, amazing physics. And you've got to get logs from one place to another, so it's a bit like Euro Truck, but with a bit of a Russian off-roading twist. But as you can see, the graphics, sound, models, and everything looks amazing. But um, first of all, you can see that we got this wonderful Russian truck here, um, and these are the add-ons that you can get. So if we go with a carriage and a train, and then and install that, you can see a lot. Come on, camera. A lot more. Hello. Camera. Uh, okay. A lot more unlock. So, um, you have a fuel system, beacons, cabin protection, get us for rolling over, garage parts, which is where you can repair your truck or another truck, um, utility that carries repair points, um, you got the log carts, and stuff like that, highway wheels. Yeah, so um, you have got stuff like this. If you go for, if you go for the log cart, uh, not carriage trailer. I'll be back when I've sorted this out. Right, so I've decided I'm just going to go for the um, is it the small logs trailer that we've gone for? I believe it is. Where does it say attached? Yeah, so the small logs trailer I've gone for, um, because with an articulated trailer, it does take a lot of experience, as I found out, and I crashed many times without it, so I'm just going to go with the plane. But when you start the engine, listen to this. Doesn't that sound cool? Just look at the graphics as well. Did you see all the... It just looks amazing. But you've also got features like the diff lock, all-wheel drive. But if you do leave the diff lock on, you can damage um, some of the underneath bits. <laughs> um, so you don't want to leave that on all the time when you're on-road. Because there are some on roady parts. But if you have a look at the map, you can see that these cloakings... Um, if there's a centre point to these, you've got to go to them and then um, they unlock and then you can see the whole map. But um, there are garages placed around, as you can see, and you can unlock those with garage points. But the objective, as I said, is to go and get the lumber, which is down here, which is where you unlock this truck, which is quite fun. Um, and there's another truck there. but uh, And then deliver it to the objective. So as I said, this is the plains map. So, um, yeah, quite cool. Just uh, gone sunrise here in Russia, so I think let's get sorted out and get heading down to the log place, number yard, I think. Okay, so just like Eurotruck, I've got, I've got the H shifter set up. So if you, I put it in first, parking brake is off, and we should be free to go. But the camera on this is a bit weird. You can right, change it like that. I'll we'll go for that on top view. Look around like that. But I do prefer like this. So as you can see here, we're a bit slipping. Four wheel drive on. Or if you swap it for diff lock, you can see that it's much easier. I'll need both on here. And this is our first encounter with a river. So, um, if you haven't seen this game before, rivers can be your worst enemy at some point because they may be too deep and you may get stuck in them. So, you've got to be mega careful and make sure not to be taken by the tide when crossing. And it also cleans your truck. I find that so cool. But let's go up here so we can avoid those rocks. We do not want to get 
and encounter with those as it probably will damage your vehicle and um, damage is simulated as I told you earlier and with the um, utility attachment you can um, carry around garage points to repair yourself or other vehicles that you own. So yeah, it's, it's quite, quite a cool game. I have been actually wanting to play this for quite a while, but with my old PC, it just um, didn't like it. So yeah, I don't think it, the graphics, the graphics settings would probably have to be dialed down quite a bit to make it playable. But here I've got crispy 60 FPS max settings. But here, as you can probably see, that is way too deep for us to cross. So you gotta, as an off-roader, find alternative ways. So I've decided this way is probably going to be the best for us, and hopefully, is a route to follow it around. This doesn't. This looks quite shallow, so let's do this way, and then make sure we're over here, so we don't get stuck in that mud. But hopefully, some point in this first look, I will get stuck in the mud, so I can show you some of the winch features in the game but yeah the physics is so good as you can see all the different axles are simulated um, with proper weights and stuff the physics, the physics are amazing I, use, I usually talk about spin tires physics if you ever heard before and this is what I'm on about spin tires physics in Euro truck that would be awesome or American truck which is not it was about 10 days when I played this. Spin tires, spin tires, American trucker come out. Which is very cool. But into fourth gear here. We probably turn four wheel driving diff off to save us some fuel. Um, because you can run out on this map and there is not many places to refuel. So let's turn them both back on here. Because it looks pretty muddy. Let's look at that. Here. Right, come on Russian truck, come on! Yes, we are through. Surround, here we go. Come on. Yes. The power of these Russian trucks is amazing. Turn diff lock off. Don't need it. Then follow it around here. Diff lock a bit there down into this muddy cavern sort of rift thing around this tree and with uh, bigger vehicles or vehicles of this size you can knock down small trees which is always quite fun I think but let's careful not to tip it over but I think we may almost be at our destination Oh, so now I'm just going to be careful around here, make sure not to uh, wrap the truck around the tree, like that, and reverse, and steer, the steering is really heavy, as you can see I've knocked down a small tree, oh, there we go, bye tree, Really careful here. That is quite steep. I think going down this bit is our probably best bet. Gotta be really careful here. Yeah, there's the damage, but the sounds are awesome. So probably go down here and then try and turn it around the camera as I said is a bit annoying it's not the best invention can we get down here without tipping over or beaching it just gotta floor it and hope for the best and there we go look at that so let's take a look at the map now see where we are we've done most of the road as you can see not completely sticking to the path there but that's off-roading for you, so we're just going to carry around here, possibly cut, if we cut directly here, and follow that perfectly, it looks like a clear run. 
so let's carry on doing that. As I said, the rocks there, bit of a pain, but just got to watch out for them. Got to be really wary about how deep this is. Just got to make a right here. Take it early, so if we get any wheel spin, we don't get stuck in that really boggy bit. Let's take that there. And up here. bit more tree-ish than I anticipated. Come on camera. I think that way. Is that a tree? No, I can't go that way. Oh good. How have I done that? Oh good. Please tell me how I've done that. Because I've somehow attached it between two trees. I've got to be careful not to do that again. I'll follow it round here, I think. Come on, camera! Right, those trees I can knock over down there. Ignore that bit of damage. Just gotta go for it with power. This is where it gets really annoying with clutch. You can go manual, but automatic, sorry, but decided not to. Right. You can sometimes get stuck, as I said, but power! not liking that. Let's make sure. Right. Okay, so this is a point where put the parking brake on, pause that like that, and go into advanced mode. So here you got the winch, and there's winch points here. You uh, pull the truck, well, you put it off advanced now, put it in reverse, press. Uh, Should was it R? I think it's W. Uh, try everything. There we go. It's F. So reverse as well. There we go. So to sort of find that winch point, close it off. So be really careful. It's just beach in it. If I had a better camera, I could see what I was doing. Okay, so back in advanced, and maybe we pull this somewhere like that. Off advanced. Now turn that off, and we should be able to get down. Come on! Oh, it's almost there! It's almost there! Right, so I've got it off that ridge here. We made a bit of a mess of that. So if we cancel that and try and go it at it from an angle, so build up the revs. There's a tree. I don't like how the trees fade away in front of you. It can get a bit annoying where you can't see, but building up damage here. Hitting that rock and it's just diverting us. Can we fit around like that? Right, let's put it into m there. Can we get winched across? I wonder. I really do doubt it. No. Maybe here. 
So off advanced. F. Parking brake is on. Maybe across like that. Because that is more or less the angle that I wanted. Okay, and then cross that off. And down we get, yes. Love the horn. So let's get down this boggy bit. Looks so cool. So it's a lagoon down here. Let's look at this. The graphics are amazing. I love how all the mud clings to your tyres after you've cleanly washed it in the muddy river. But down here, splash near into first. Come on. I hope we picked the right attachment for this uh, truck, else this will be a waste of time. But I'm thinking of just getting to this destination and um, seeing what you guys think. So if you want to see more spin tyres of this and want me to continue our Russian adventure, um, please do post in the comments and say uh, so. But I think we are here. And that is a truck. Yes, that is right. It's like a caravan. There we go. We have unlocked that now. But this is a bit muddy. Look at this. Look at this for some entrance to the Yumba Yard. If you can say it. A bit boggy. What might come this in a. Uh, in a Euro truck truck, would you? But there we are at the lumber yard. So, as I said, if you guys want a uh, to do any more of this, please do say so and give the video a like and one subscribe for more because I really enjoy playing it. And um, as this comes out on Saturdays, I do um, swap over with what I play with Project Cars, um, Assetto Corsa, and now this. So, um, need to install. Okay, here's the app store. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I didn't install the crane. Well, what a fail that was. Not the best way to end the video, but... If you do want to see more, I will get the crane here and we can resume like normal, like nothing happened. But as of it, thank you for watching and goodbye. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>